So, good morning everyone. My name is Midship Manrosir Austin Dasso Baldorado from NS183. Today, I'm going to discuss the contents of the IMO or the International Maritime Sold Bulk Cargo IMBC Code. So, let's go. So, the contents or what's the contents of IMO? The contents of IMO or International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargo or IMSBC Code. The International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea 1974 has amended deals with various aspects of maritime safety and contains in Chapter 6 the mandatory provision go governing the carriage of solid bulk cargos. These provisions are extended in the International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargos Code. So, next is the aim of the International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargos Code. So, the primary aim of it is which of the replace the Code of Safety Practice for Solid Bulk Cargos or the BC Code is to facilitate the safe storage and shipment of solid bulk cargos by providing information on the danger associated with the shipment of certain types of solid bulk cargos and instructions on the procedures to be adopted when the shipment of solid bulk cargos is contemplated. The prime hazard associated with the shipment of solid bulk cargo are those relating to structural damage due to improper cargo distributions, loss of reductions of stability during a voyage, and chemical reaction of cargos. Therefore, The primary aim of the IMBSC code is to facilitate the safe storage and shipment of solid bulk cargos by providing information on the dangers associated with the shipment of certain types of solid bulk cargos and instruction on the procedure to be adopted when the shipment of solid bulk cargo is contemplated. So that is the outline of the IMO. So I hope you learn again something from me. Thank you, and thank you, gentlemen, and to our professor, thank you.